Previously on Young Sheldon. Hello, I'm Sheldon Cooper, and this is Why Sheldon Cooper Should Go to College. I firmly believe that I'm ready for this next step in my academic life. I guess our baby's going to college. So I don't want to get married. It's nothing personal. After everything that I've done for you and your family. You give my grandson a job, so I'm supposed to marry you? Well, you can forget I even asked. Oh, no. I screwed up. You're fired. Here's for fun, my grandson. Jackass. I never understood why kids didn't like being sent to the principal's office. I thought it was great. Sheldon, you are a remarkable young man. Thanks. And you're a remarkable old man. Sheldon. So you're sure he's got all the credits he needs? Yeah. Between his coursework and his AP test, he's met all of his academic requirements. He even managed to get a good grade in P.E. I earned extra credit snitching on kids who were smoking behind the equipment shed. I don't have to buy cigarettes for a year. So he's... Really good to graduate? He sure is. I got to tell you, usually when kids leave school after two years, it's not for college. It's for prisoner pregnancy. Well, between George and Missy, we may hit the trifecta. George? Well, I'm not rooting for it. It's just a thing that could happen. One other bit of business. Since you're graduating early and you're top of the class, that makes you our valedictorian. Way to go, buddy. I'm so proud of you, baby. You seem surprised. Well, it's quite an accomplishment. Being top of the class in this school? I don't think so. We're really gonna miss you. Nobody else is stronger than I am. Yesterday I moved the mountain. I bet I could be your hero. I am a mighty little man. I am a mighty little man. my leaving will be hard for you. Oh yeah, being best friends with a little kid really boosted my game with the ladies. Makes sense, I'm a conversation starter. Just think, you'll have this table all to yourself. Actually, I joined the jazz band. Those guys have their own table in the cafeteria. Oh. They're pretty cool. The drummers even got a goatee. Well, I'm glad I knew you before you became a heroin addict. Where are my safety goggles? I don't have an orange today. No, I have a lab later. Just use the room goggles like everyone else. And risk eyebrow lice? They don't just like head hair tan. They must be in my locker. Don't eat my fluffernutter! I won't. Hello. Thank you for seeing me. You might not be so happy I did by the time we're done. <sighs> All right, let me start by saying that I owe you an apology. You can finish with an apology, too. I'm sorry we had a fight. I'm, I'm really sorry I lost my temper. I'm very sorry that I took it out on Georgie. That wasn't great. I want you to know that I'm trying to change. Because that's what people do. They change. I mean it. No, I'm tired of being a cranky old bastard. It's tiring for everybody else, too. Would you please? Sorry, go ahead. I'm admitting I was wrong, and that's not something I do. What do you want from me? One more chance. I don't know. Oh, come on. I went to three stores to find these purple flowers. They are pretty. They're not as pretty as you. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> safety pins, safety scissors, no safety goggles. Did you happen to see a pair of safety goggles? Sheldon, we're in the middle of a test. Sorry. I can't.